As you well know, Khao San Road has reopened. Lots of great videos on YouTube showing music playing, street stalls out, shops open, bars open as well. And that's fantastic to see. Seems like only yesterday I was here at Song Gran on a wet, windswept, deserted evening. The place was all decorated. A real shame to see the place like that. Anyway, we're gonna go a little bit further back than yesterday and take a trip down memory lane to look at Khao San Road back in the day. So a bit of history, the association of Bang Lampu, Khao San Road and rice. Well, Bang Lampu was the biggest rice market in the whole country towards the end of the 19th century. And all the major rice millers would come and sell their produce along a dirt track, which later became Khao San Road. All the rice coming into Bangkok in those days was by boats along the Chao Phraya River. It was then transferred into smaller boats and brought up here the Klong Bang Lam Pu. I'm trying to picture the scene a hundred or so years ago. Lots of small boats on, moored on both sides of the canal here, furiously unloading their cargo of rice, rushing to get it into the market that day to be sold. And the most lucrative market was Khao San Road. By the 1970s, this area had become a stop on the Asian hippie trail. All these young independent travellers wanted to see the world without the aid of glossy brochures or commercial flights. Joe Cummings was doing research for his first ever guidebook to Thailand. He found five guest houses locally and included them in this book. It was released in 1982. It was called Lonely Planet, a travel survival kit. By the end of the 1980s, there was over 200 guest houses in this area, including in the latest guide, which became a staple for backpackers traveling around Thailand. A couple of years ago, some of the streets around here were paved over and the rumor mill was saying that it was part of a plan to attract more Chinese tour groups to the area. And that did coincide with a news article that said street vendors were also learning Chinese. So maybe there is some truth in that. After all, other people said that it was part of a plan to attract more backpackers to the area, give them a smoother walking surface if they want to go barefoot, as they say. But whatever the reason is, it does make the place look a bit more attractive, but it has lost a bit of character. There's always these old hippies and party animals that claim Khao San Road was a lot better back in the day. It was a lot more fun, it was friendlier, had more character, a bit more risque. Plus, you could get a beer at four o'clock in the morning at a lot of different places. And I'd be absolutely right. So I think now is the right time to show you a bit of old video footage and photos of Khao San Road through the years.
there was always people selling weird souvenirs here in Khao San Road and maybe you've got one still somewhere on your shelf at home gathering dust. A wooden frog bought from a person in hill tribe costume speaking perfect English. That was a popular one. Anyway, what about the souvenirs that stay with you forever? The musical memories are also souvenirs. The songs that you heard when you were partying in Khao San Road over the years. I've heard a lot of songs played up and down here, repeated over and over again. So I've compiled a list of the most popular songs that remind you all of Khao San Road. This is Banglampu intersection and right across there behind me is the old New World shopping center. More famous recently for having flood water, fish, holding the odd art exhibition. It was built in the early 80s at a time when landowners thought they could build what they want as high as they want. It didn't last very long. In 1997 it closed after part of it collapsed inwards on itself and in 2004 during demolition it collapsed almost completely. Believe it or not, it used to be twice as high. Just across the road right behind me is the former headquarters of Kratai Records. They were Thailand's first ever homegrown music label between 1925 and 1970. Over the years, I've seen a lot of street acts up and down Khao San Roads, and there are some good ones and bad ones. And I don't mean some backpacker banging a bongo or some crusty playing a guitar for travel money. I'm talking about the cream of the crop. <laughs> 